Anthony, thank you. I want to welcome our panel, media crisis expert Carl Carlos Scott, and also mental health expert Andrea Wise Brown. Thank you both for joining us. Carlos, we'll start with you, right? Um, what happened Sunday with AB? Have we ever seen anything like that happened in sports? It, I mean, in the middle of a game. The simple answer is no. In the history of the NFL, no player has ever um, but it's essentially quit in the middle of a game. And there's several layers of that. You know, uh, he later tweeted about, you know, being injured. But the thing is, he never gave the team an opportunity to, he, he didn't go to the medical doctors to let them know that he was uh, suffering an injury. He just, as the coach said, simply told them, no, he wasn't going in. And at that point, you know, he almost left the coach pretty much with no, with no recourse other than to, you know, to tell him to, to you know, to get out. You know, go to the locker, but um, but it's the way that he handled it after that. I mean, he could have just went to the locker room, checked with the medical staff or whatever. But you know, what 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 did you take from what you saw? What was your first thought? Well, my first thought was there's an issue here. He's having some issues, and this is not new. So this is the thing. Everybody's acting like they're shocked, but he has already been exhibiting this inappropriate behavior for some time now. You know, why weren't people really speaking out and trying to get him some help when he was on the sideline in a fur coat? I mean, the whole COVID test, the lie, you know, card fiasco that just occurred. I mean, uh, what going Facebook Live in the locker room, all of these things are inappropriate. So he has been exhibiting inappropriate behavior for some time. And for me, my thing is, when I see him, I'm saying this young man needs some help. Why didn't we get him help some time ago? Why do we wait till now to where he's at a place where he can lose everything? So that's what I see, a, a young man who people have ignored. Do you think it was a matter of it just boiling down to winning, right? He's already been labeled a bad boy. Let's not get him the help he needs. He's just a lost cause. Carlos, what do you think? Exactly. Oh, actually, Andrew, yes, yes, please is. answer. Oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. I apologize. You know, Carlos, I get excited ahead. about this. Go ahead. Take, <laughs> take the reins. Exactly, that's exactly what I feel. I feel like they had some responsibility. The NFL had responsibility. The coach had responsibility and some accountability to get this man what he needed. Because, I mean, you know, if they're thinking he's a winner and all we want... I mean, we mm -hmm. see him last night chilling courtside at the Brooklyn Nets game, like everything's all good. What would you say to him if he were your client? Would you have advised him to do that? And can his career recover? Uh, no, I wouldn't have advised him to do that. But let's start back to what you and Andrea were just talking about. And I I don't want to always, I know we're in this, I'm I'm so glad that channels like BNC and, you know, in the black community, we're now being more, um, uh, we're talking about mental health. But I don't want to always just throw things under the bus of mental health from a standpoint of, I think he's been rewarded for years because he's been at one time let's let's just be honest at one time he was considered the best one of the top three in some in some circles even the best wide receiver in NFL so with that coaches teams they're willing to overlook some of your bratty uh you know uh, mindset and and foolish behavior as long as you can help them win on Sunday and win that Super Bowl which he now has two under his belt but I think for me, the issue is how Antonio has to take ownership. Nobody told Antonio to get the fake vaccination card. Nobody told uh, Antonio to Facebook Live during a you know uh, during the most precious time after a game. Nobody told him to call that to use a racial epithet towards the Raiders general manager. There has to be some accountability on Antonio's part, and unfortunately, when you always reward these players monetarily there is the sense of entitlement and i think it's more entitlement than mental health to be perfectly honest yeah because um if it was something if he was example if he was exemplifying other behavior that um andrea and other mental health professionals would deem as maybe in crisis mode yes but for this this is more bratty just um 
yeah. idiotic behavior. Carl- but I do think he's played his last. I do think he's played his last game in NFL only because it was so public. A lot mm-hmm. of the other stuff was kind of, you know, you didn't see it. It was, it was the report afterwards or whatever. But to see him do that, to put on the, you know, put on that public display of just foolishness yeah. in the media capital of the world in New York City. Um, it's just there's awful. no coming back for that. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. We don't have any more time. Uh, you mentioned no accountability. Problem. I just hope that he's not canceled uh, because he has a he has a bright future and hopefully it's not over for him. Thank you both for joining us. We really appreciate your insight.